Hi guys, just wanted to show you this really quick. If you recall, this board we painted in a previous video, one side has the one hour enamel and the other side has the chalk synthesis paint. I want to show you how you can quickly and easily seal and distress your chalk painted piece all at the same time. The new furniture tonic will seal your piece for durability and allow you to wet sand it without any dust or debris. So you're basically sealing and distressing it all in one step. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is use this brush to brush on the tonic and seal the piece. Once you've got that pretty good and soaked with the tonic, you can take a sanding block, and I'm going to go pretty um, hardcore with a 60 grit just because I want to actually distress. Um, but I do want to reiterate though that you can use a softer grit sandpaper, let me grab one of those for you as well, to um, just give the finish itself a really, really, really soft finish. So you can go with just a super light, this is a 240 grit. You can just use it right over the wet tonic just to give it a really smooth finish. It's like baby soft when you're done, so then you go buff off the rest. And notice I didn't take any paint off, I didn't distress, I just did a wet sand over it with a really fine sandpaper and it is super, super smooth now, like baby soft. Um, but you can go a little bit heavier on the grit like I'm going to to distress. So I'm going to go right over those edges. As you can see, I'm just exposing some of that wood underneath. a little character to your piece. So now when I go to buff it off, not only is it going to be nice and smooth, but it's also going to be distressed already, like all in one step. Um, and try to use a lint-free microfiber cloth. This shop cloth that I'm using is super linty and it's leaving these little white things on here. But um, microfiber cloths work really great for this. should be using something more like, like this. Um, this will prevent any lint, but basically this lets you seal and distress your piece all in one step, as I said before, but without all that sanding dust. So now if you look, we've got this nice distressed edge on here, and the piece has been sealed all at the same time. Okay, so once again, Lysol Furniture Tonic, brush it on, use the sandpaper, use a fine grit sandpaper if you just want a soft finish, distress it with some heavier grit if you want, and then just use a microfiber cloth to wipe back the excess. You're just buffing off the excess tonic, and then you have a beautifully distressed piece that has been sealed and distressed all in one step, and you can walk away and just let it cure. Once again guys, thanks for watching and happy painting.